Good morning everyone. I am Pradhya Mohite from team Akash. I have been working with this team over 6 months now. Now till now whatever my colleague Ajay has explained it to you was perfect when world was new only Java. What Java can do, what kind of miracles a Java can do. It was perfect when world was completely devoid of Android. Now today when we are dealing with tablet world one cannot simply escape Android. So, therefore, exactly we also had to port our proximity on the Akash tablet. So, in order to just synchronize with the technology advancement, we have ported our proximity application on tablet mode. Whatever Ajay has explained it to you was a desktop and web mode. Now, I will be showing to you a tab of tablet mode. So, let us quickly go through the slides and then we will have a detailed demonstration of proximity application on Akash tablet. I deliberately said uh, let us quickly go through because on Sunday morning 9 am no one will like to have a long duration for slides. So, we will have a detailed demonstration, we will emphasize on demonstration and we will have a very small theory part. So, as you know my topic is proximity on Akash tablet. We have two different types to stream the data, one is the Wi-Fi access and another is a tablet external storage. So, these all are the topics which I will be covering, the feature, the structure of contents, what kind of different versions available, no software is perfect, so it has to come with a different versions. So, different versions available, what kind of prerequisites to run the proximity on Akash tablet the using SD card and using Wi-Fi, a simple diagrammatic representation for all of you to understand the flow, the detailed demonstration and suggestion for future enhancements. The feature, as you have already seen what proximity can do. Proximity is a way to create interactive lessons for students. So, as definition says, we can view a lecture video we can do topic wise navigation based on theme. What is this theme now? Now, this theme is nothing but a grouping of similar slides under one topic. So, this is nothing but dividing a lecture in a topics, so that it is easy to understand. Then next is add, update, delete bookmarks. Now, what are these bookmarks? Book as we do our on our internet browser, whatever site we like, we just tag it as a favorite, as a bookmark, so that we do not need to remember it again and again type that URL. Similar way, whatever part of lecture we like, we will tag it as a bookmark and that you can revisit it again just by clicking on, on the bookmark. You do not need to traverse the complete video. And the next, as you know, is the subtitles, the important feature. Yeah, the next. Now, structure of lecture content. This is important to understand because what we have done at, at our end, we have two different version of proximity, where, where exactly same features are available, but the versions differ based on the lecture content. Now, why is this? Because we have a limited storage capacity in the tablet. Now, each engineering course under NPTEL or IIT Bombay contains approximately 30 to 40 lecture video and each lecture video will be approximately one hour long. So, that is a huge data as you can see and we cannot store this complete data in the internal memory on the, uh, on the Akash tablet. So, therefore, we have come up with a different version and this every one hour lecture video should have a corresponding XML file. So, you can see the what kind of amount of data we need to store for proximity. As I mentioned, there are two different versions available, one is a demo, another is a complete version. In demo version, we have used a small clip of video to just demonstrate the features of proximity. We could not give uh, the complete course and in a complete version, as and when servers will be available at your colleges, we will be keeping, we will keep on flooding you with a more and more video and courses. So, as mentioned, 
both versions can be view, both versions have exactly same feature, but differ on the lecture content. And also both version can be viewed either from an external memory or from the remote server. Now, why do we need this Wi-Fi streaming? As you know, the SD card support on the tablet is for 32 GB maximum. And if you see the number of courses in or four years of engineering uh, students life, there are huge. We cannot just limit it to the 32 GB. So, we need to have a server where we can just keep our data, keep on dumping data and student is able to just stream it using server. No need of external SD card, no need of internal memory, no limitations. It limitation will only be of the server capacity. So, therefore, both version we have uh, we have created either to view from SD card or from the remote server streaming. Now the next, these are prerequisites in order to run a proximity tool on your Akash tablet. These are important for you to understand. Now for SD card version, every lecture video should have its corresponding XML file and these both files should be stored at the specific path on external SD card. As Fatak sir has mentioned yesterday, how to write on external SD card, either on the laptop you have that slot or there are specific SD card writers available in the market through which you have to copy your data on the SD card. You have to put this SD card inside the SD card slot and then you can run the proximity. Obviously provided it should be installed on your Akash tablet. Now next is the Wi-Fi version. Now, as I mentioned, we had to opt for Wi-Fi because of the storage limitation. For Wi-Fi version, we need to have a web, web server and the Wi-Fi access point. This Wi-Fi access points can be anywhere. Keep it in a hostel, keep it in a different department buildings, keep it in a lab and which should have a good connectivity with the server and in turn, student will connect to this Wi-Fi access point to stream the data. That is why this lecture video and the all corresponding XML file should be stored on the remote server to which Wi-Fi access point will be connected to which proximity tool is connected. Yeah, this is a simple diagrammatic representation using SD card. First of all, you need to insert a SD card inside Akash tablet, open the proximity tool and at the proximity application, you will find the video list rendered from the external SD card. A simple diagrammatic representation which will make you easier to understand. And the next is using Wi-Fi. Now using Wi-Fi, we have some more things into the picture other than the tablet and proximity. Now we need to have obviously Akash tablet loaded with the proximity application which in turn connect to the Wi-Fi access point which further connects to the remote server. Now this Wi-Fi access point as mentioned can be anywhere inside classroom, hostels, department, anywhere which should have a good connectivity with a remote server and proximity application will allow to stream data from this from the server using Wi-Fi access point. So before going to this slide, I will go for the demo. We will have a detailed demonstration of how proximity looks on the Akash tablet. As you can see my screen, here is the Akash application logo. If this logo is not here, you should click those six dots on the right corner and here is this logo. Yeah. So I will click on this. Also here I will emphasize whichever application, all this six application, if you are trying to open and trying to play, please use this Akash application logo. Please follow this procedure. Otherwise, it may result into some errors. Then this is the proximity from external SD card and this is the proximity Wi-Fi which will be connected to the server. I will just simply open proximity Wi-Fi by clicking on that icon, clicking this here next button. So this is the screen of proximity Wi-Fi. It is showing this video list rendered from the server. These videos are not present in the external or internal memory of the tablet. And how have I connected it to the server? There should be some setting. Now, if you see these three dots down, click on these three dots. You can see this Wi-Fi settings and help. 
help is available with every application, you can click and understand the procedure required. Click on this Wi-Fi setting, you can see this Wi-Fi address of server, you can edit it over here. For me, I have already entered the correct address, so I will just simply say OK and back. So, I will just click on any of this lecture, suppose introduction to DBMS, yeah. as you can see. So, again now I have come out of the application, this is one more point to notice, if you want to again go back where from where you have come out, just click on this tap screen, here is the tap screen, just click on this, you will again able to go back from where you have come out. See, I, 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 could, I came out at the video level, so it has shown me this video. Alright, so this is about the proximity Wi-Fi. We, what we will do is, we will have a detailed features on the proximity SD card. Now, this is a proximity SD card, I will simply click next button. Now, you see the whole list of lectures over here. These lectures are coming from external SD card. Now, where is this external SD card? Let us see that point also to clear. If I just simply click on this, see this is the SD card and how you have to put inside? Here is the SD card slot and simply put SD card with data loaded of course. Yeah. Now, here you will get SD card is mounted, there was a instruction. So, let us go into our proximity now, I have inserted SD card inside as I had shown in the diagram. Now, the proximity, yeah, here is a whole list of videos which are available on this external SD card. If you click this three dots over here, you have again a help which will inform you about the procedure. So, now let me open one of the lecture and we will see the detailed features. If you see, this is the video getting rendered. Now, let me pause this. Can you see this green arrow over here? This is nothing but a sliding drawer. It is a Android UI feature and this has a complete theme tree. As Ajay had already mentioned, theme is nothing but a grouping of similar slides under one topic. So, these are nothing but a topic and subtopic, which which makes you easier to understand what all lecture includes, nothing but a lecture index. So, if I click on this explore, so you can see the what all slides it has under the theme. So, if I click on particularly for example, I want to directly see this structure of AVL tree. So, I have to click directly on that, now my video will start right from that slide. If you see this is the structure of AVL tree slide. So, this is a very important feature. So, if you know particular lecture is given to me and if I have to understand whether it is useful for me or not, I can simply traverse this theme, I can understand which all topics has it co covered and then only I will study it. No need to sit listen to the complete lecture. So, this is a very important feature of the themes. Now, what else? I had mentioned something about the bookmark and subtitle. We will first look into the bookmark, I have clicked on bookmark. Now, what it does is, if I, now you can see the two tabs, one is my bookmark, another is new bookmark. If I have clicked on new bookmark, now check out all, what all fields it has. This is a very important field to have a start time. Start time shows 30.49, this is the exact time where I have paused my video. So, you do not need to, you know, you do not need to remember where have I have stopped and enter it manually. It automatically takes, wherever you want to take a bookmark, whenever you click this bookmark, it will, uh, the video is already paused and this bookmark feature will automatically get the stop, the pause time. So, that will become the start time for your bookmark and the video name, any video, video name you have to give. Suppose a AVL tree, I am giving tree. This is a keyboard available to type. Then next, wait. Now, this is the book, the second field is bookmark tag. 
So, uh, if I have to give a uh, some bookmark name, I can give it. I will simply right now give bookmark 1, the bookmark and this is the start time. Let me just say bookmark 1. Now, this is my complete new bookmark information. I will simply click on add bookmark, now successfully bookmark. I will click on back, my video has started from that bookmark part. Now, if you want to check whether your bookmark has correctly, uh, correctly saved or not, see here is the list of bookmarks. Which bookmark we have created? This AVL tree. Now, when I clicked on that bookmark, this video started from that particular bookmark. I do not I don't need to remember the time when you know I had created bookmark and traverse come till that point, that mess is not required. This bookmark feature will automatically take care of it. I have some other bookmarks also available. See for example, the second bookmark starts from 2009. If I click on that, this see, can you see this lecture time? It, it has started from 2009. So, this is the advantage of bookmark and second feature is uh, subtitle. Now, the subtitle feature searches dot SRT file available from the tablet. Uh, right now, we have a dummy SRT file. So, it is not uh, related to video. I have selected that file and suppose, can you see this subtitle coming? Yes. So, this is a right now dummy subtitle. We do not have the actual subtitle. So, choose subtitle, if you have to just click this three dots to choose subtitle for bookmark and this is a green arrow for the theme tree. And this is the list of videos, again I came back, back on the Akash application screen. So, this is all about the proximity and proximity Wi-Fi. I would like to conclude this session with one more slide which talks about some future enhancement. As all of you know, no software is a perfect, it ha there has to be some enhancement, there has to be coming up some versions. So, all of us are working on it. We also welcome you to contribute to proximity enhancements, you to collaborate with us, come up with a new approaches. This is one of the approach what we followed, what we thought of. We want you to come out and tell us what can other be the possibilities and some suggestion. Uh, many of you must have uh, must have attended some online tutorials. What happens in online tutorial? Once you complete the tutorial, there is always some small quiz available at the end in order to understand, in order to even test yourself whether you have understand that topic correctly or not. And for even reference, uh, so definitely what we can here do is proximity plus clicker merge. So, at the end of every course, we can have a clicker merge inside the proximity and we can conduct a quiz. No need even, even that quiz can be a local quiz also for just to test the whether student has understood or not or even for the teacher to understand whether student is, has grasped those things or not. So, this is a very important thing and we can enhance this proximity for this. Now, next is power optimization. Now, as you have tablets in your hand, you must have noticed when you read a PDF from a tablet, the time till the battery lasts and when you play a video, the battery last, the battery duration will differs a lot. Why? Because certain activity takes more power than other activity. So, this power op optimization itself is a very good research problem. What we can do is, in order to maximize the battery capacity, we, sh we should have something when video is getting played, the how can we optimize the power. So, this is very important research problem uh, for proximity, because we are dealing completely with videos. And next is provide feedback to professor. Now, how this can be achieved? For example, if I am looking into the data structure and algorithm lecture. And there is a topic which explains about algorithm complexity. And many of you must have know ki algorithm complexity is bit difficult subject, bit difficult topic to understand. So, what I am doing is I am again going replaying that particular part 
of algorithm complexity. Now, this thing, this particular feature can be stored at the back. What will happen due to this? If student is uh, replaying particular videos again and again, particular topic again and again, then which that means two things, either that topic is difficult to understand or teacher may take some extra effort to understand, to make understand that topic, topic more effectively. So, this feedback can be provided to teacher that which topic has been replayed again and again, so that professor can do self improvement. So, this is also a future enhancement available. With this, I will conclude this section. Thank you. Thank you.